On a typical long haul flight, you are served two meals, which you wash down with your choice of beer, wine, or water. And that leads to over 1,000 flushes of the airplane toilets. So where does all that waste go? Old airline toilet systems relied on large quantities of blue sanitation fluid. Unfortunately, the systems often leaked, forming a frigid ball of blue ice and frozen feces. These days, the nasty stuff all stays on board. And it's all thanks to this design classic, the vacuum toilet. This system eliminates the need for large quantities of blue fluid and instead relies on strong suction and slick walls. The bowl is coated with non-stick Teflon, like your frying pan. When the flush button is pressed, a valve opens, sucking down the contents of the bowl. The load, smell and all, accelerates faster than a Formula One car. In seconds, the pipes carry the contents into large tanks at the rear of the plane. And once a plane has touched down, it needs to empty its bowels. You might think this is trivial, but it can't take off for its next flight until the human waste is removed. Enter the honey truck. A pretty name for a vehicle with a pretty filthy job. It's one of the first vehicles to reach the plane at the gate. This Schroeder TSU-3 sewage truck has an 800-gallon stainless steel waste tank. A powerful vacuum pump can fill that tank in just 10 minutes. But the honey truck still relies on its driver to connect it to the aircraft by hand. This is Lotar Mali. Today, he has to empty over 230 gallons of waste from a jumbo jet's two tanks. The aircraft needs to stay on schedule, so Lotar has to work fast. He carefully connects the waste pipe to the plane's release valve, making sure it's locked in place. When it's not locked, it goes like this. It goes falls off, falls off, and then everything comes here on this, on the, on the floor. Having avoided an unpleasant shower, Lotar connects a flush pipe to clean out the plane's tanks with water and disinfectant. With the waste tanks drained, Lotar drives to the disposal facility. He parks over the sewer pipe, opens a valve, and lets gravity do the rest. It's a nice job, but the smell, it's not so nice. 